I just got some new nibs and we're going to be trying them out. Apparently there are different materials that you can get for your nibs. So for this one, I'm trying out the felt nibs. These are felt, made of felt. I think felt, 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 felt. All right. So there's the ProPen 2 and the ProPen 3. I got both of them. There are slight differences between the two. So we're going to check those out. All right. All right. All right, chat. Let's unbox both of these and we can take a look at the difference between the two. The ProPen 2 nibs, I think were like $13. $13 for a pack of 10. Very epic. And then the ProPen 3 nibs. Oh, what the? No, these are the standard nibs. No. I got the wrong ones! Fuck! I can't believe it, dude. It's okay, we'll just use the Pro Pen 2 nibs. All right, it's fine, it's fine. All right, it's fine. Maybe the Pro Pen 3 nibs uh, that are felt, the, the felt versions are available on Amazon. Okay, guys, here we go. There it is. The nib has been installed. According to the, the sheet from Kube, these nibs should feel a little scratchy, but they should offer much more control. You're trading off a little bit of speed for a lot more control. And I like that. I like surfaces that have more friction. It's the reason why I couldn't use the tablet cover from Foxbox from a long time ago. It's because it made the surface of my tablet more slippery. But this time, if this offers a bit more friction, it might actually give me the opportunity to get a tablet cover. And I think that would be sick. Here we go. First impressions. Oh. I don't even feel the scratchiness. It just feels like... It feels like I'm using a marker. Yeah, it's like using a marker. Do you guys know the texture of, of using like a, uh, a marker on like a whiteboard? It's because markers use felt. Oh my god. I kind of like it. Let me play one Osu map. One Osu map. All right, no warm up. Here we go. Oh. Okay, so far, it almost feels as if it's smoother. Like, my cursor feels smoother. It kind of feels like I'm like wiping my, sur my my tablet in a way. It feels like a piece of cloth that's like wiping my tablet instead of like a piece of plastic that's scratching my tablet.
Damn, I currently have a one miss and a one slider break. This is no warm up. And I'm actually kind of popping off. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about the graphic, but like the graphic was saying that there was like a bit of a scratchier feeling. I actually think it's smoother, dude. good all things considered yeah i don't i don't know what i was expecting dude like it just feels like i'm wiping my tablet like the same texture that you feel when you're like wiping your tablet with a paper towel is like the texture that i feel when i'm like playing with this pen i don't feel any scratchiness i just feel like this a smooth wipe but i do like you guys know how when you're writing with like when you're writing with a marker there is more friction like to move your pen requires a little bit more force, but when it does move, it's like super smooth. And when it comes to a stop, it's like, it just holds there. You know what I'm saying? And then like, when I finally put in enough force for it to actually move, then it's going at a constant speed. And then when it stops, it's like, it stops more firmly. It's pretty dope, dude. I'll probably stick with this. I like this, dude. Hold on, let me compare that to the, the other nibs. All right, these are standard nibs anyway. So like, the only difference is that since this is the Pro Pen 3, I believe the nibs are a bit taller. Oh, look at that. It has like, it has this little like envelope tiny thing. Isn't that cute? <laughs> Yo, okay, the packaging kind of like, kind of pops off. Wait, what the hell? Okay, where did my old nib go? I lost my old nib. F*** me. Okay, all right. Well, I, I can't show you what the old nib looked like, but it does seem like, it's slightly different because this tip is gray. Let me try it. Holy shit. Oh, it's right here. Wacom Pro Pen 2 nib, Wacom Pro Pen 3 nib. Standard. As you can see, the tip is a bit longer, which I actually do like. I do think that's going to help because I had issues with like me tilting my pen and I think the longer nib will give me a bit more clearance. Okay, I'm going to slot it in. Whoa, okay, that tip is a lot more, a lot longer. Holy shit. So compare this to this. That is insanely long. Like that is an insane difference. This nib literally looks like it's like twice as long. All right, let me try playing with it. Oh shit, okay, yeah, that is really slippery. Surprisingly less scratchy. Yeah, the Pro Pen 3 nibs feel a lot more smoother compared to the Pro Pen 2 standard nibs. Oh my god, the extra length is so nice though. Like, I can actually feel the extra length. So I need to scooch my pen a little bit upward. I, I need to scooch my grip. Like, it used to be like right around here. Because of the extra length of the pen, I need to like scooch it up a little bit. Fascinating. Interesting. All right, real quickly, I do want to test my old nib just so I can have all three to compare. Okay, so there's definitely still shakiness in my aim. That's mainly due to the fact that my technique with aiming is kind of like wobbly. But I have noticed that it doesn't shake as badly when I'm using the felt pen. 
it's almost as if instead of using digital filters to smooth my aim, I'm using a hardware filter to smooth my aim because it requires more force to stop and more force to start a movement. I like this, dude. I like this. This is nice. This feels nice. I had no idea that this was even a thing, bro. What I used to use in the past was that I would use a piece of paper and I would tape it to my tablet to increase friction on my tablet. But then I got sick and tired of replacing the, the piece of paper every single time. So I just stopped. This is awesome, dude. Now, I will have to replace this like every once in a while. But like, that's sick. I don't know if it's actually going to make me play quote unquote better we'll have to see but yeah it's pretty dope